is the Omnia SDR versus the Soft Rock. There's the Omnia right there. And the uh, Raspberry Pi with a small sound card, plug-in sound card. It's an AM station, I think. We can put a six kilohertz filter on that AM station. So if you want to do shortwave listening, Quisk will let you do that. kilohertz filter move with the lower sideband here we'll move it down JT seventy five or there you go, FT eight. Move that to uh, upper side band. There you go, FT eight. I'm going to see if I can load the uh, the actual WSJTX software. There's a Linux version. I'm going to see if I can put it on here. So then we can uh, decode FT8 and Whisper and uh, all the new. And I guess FT4 is coming. So uh, we, we're capable of receiving it. It's just I don't have the software here to decode it. Kind of cool. Wave of the future, about a hundred bucks. Put a 200 hertz filter on CW. Yeah, get a little closer to the signal. There you go, 200 hertz filter. Kind of hard to hold the camera and that's a sideband station overseas must be in Indonesia 
Let me see if we can get the uh, QRP frequency here. Four hundred hertz filter. I'm not tuned right on because I I can only got one hand here. Open up the filter to 600 hertz. Here we go. You guys into CW, this is the way to go, man. All the built-in filtering. Okay, let's move it up to... Uh, again, this is the Omnia SDR with the Quisk. And... Let's move it to... Uh, Forty meters. Boy, look at that spectrum. Look at all those signals on there. But uh, we're looking at about forty kilohertz. Seventy-one forty, seven one eighty. The Omnia SDR. About one hundred and fifty bucks for this kit. DX, Japan. But S2. I've actually talked to uh, J JR7 TKG. He's in Osaki, is his name. I'm not quite on frequency because I. I Holding the camera with one hand and trying to tune with the other. We're closer now with about 30 hertz. Look at that. Listen to the DX on an SDR. 
kit that you can build. Osaki. Listen how clear that is. I moved the filter from 2800 down to 2000. I don't have them. I'm off about uh, 28 hertz. He can, you can, you can compete with the flex radios. Yeah, right. But you can have an SDR, SDR radio without spending the flex bucks. Look at this signal right here, man. That is big. Sounds like from the Philippines. There's Osaki again. This is the Omnia SDR Raspberry Pi 2. I have a, a, a box full of these. Omnia. Here's a little homebrew switch so I can run 600 watts. Saki san, there you go. Forty meters is full this morning. This is the Omnia SDR four band, by the way. This will operate on on sixty, uh, forty, uh, thirty, and twenty meters. This is the four band version, automatic band switching. So 40 meter DX is open today. This is N6QW with the Omnia SDR. Look at that display, by the way. That's kind of cool. Saki, beautiful audio, solid copy. We really have a pipeline from from Japan to America this morning. I'm running an ICOM IC7700. Um, yeah, thanks for the nice report on the audio. Your audio is beautiful as well. And uh, I've got it uh, just about a kilowatt, running just about a kilowatt this morning. Uh, 
Bass with the AL80B amplifier. And my antenna is a G5RV, it's a double length G5RV, so two, about uh, uh, 70 meters long, and it's about uh, 30 meters high up in the air. So uh, where about to in Japan uh, is your uh, location, Saki. Uh, back to you, JR, uh, JR7, TKG, AJ6FK. Oh, yes, fine, copy, fine, copy. AJ6FK, JR7, Tango, Kilo, Germany, Blue Tongue. Oh, uh, beautiful, beautiful, you're using the system and uh, understand. Thank you. Thank you, and information. Uh, I think uh, uh, you're working a very good job, very good job. Because the signal is just as long as now, draw stable, stable recruiting, very nice. And uh, uh, the forty major is always uh, very difficult and uh, is uh, West Coast Station contact. Always uh, uh, West Coast Station easy contact and uh, bound for 20, 20 major. But the uh, recently uh, 20 the major, very poor condition, so uh, very, very difficult at the uh, West Coast Station contact. But today, uh, this town has an amazing, amazing open and much to call failure. The propagation is good, good, amazing. And uh, my duty is very about the location and uh, so uh, elections the uh, west coast and uh, very high, high mountain. So uh, all the way to the blocking block and uh, North American Station Way by GTH and uh, High Mountain. Web is a block. And about that uh, today, uh, my GTH, my home, uh, my GTH, and uh, coming. Uh, very nice and great thing. I'm very, very happy this time condition. Also, Japan 6, Fox Kilo, JR7, Tango, Kilo, Jamaica. Back to you, Jeff Kogan. Required and uh, all that kind of stuff. November 7, X-ray Hotel X-ray. Good morning, David. Come on aboard. Okay. How are you and Jonathan doing? It's not as cold there as, uh, uh, I mean, I'm not as cold as you are either. I'm 40 degrees here, so. And overcast and stormy looking. So, anyway, with that, I'll turn it over to Jonathan since I interrupted. <laughs> over to you, Jonathan. Well, since you so rudely interrupted there, David, uh, good morning to you. Uh, good to hear from you. I don't know if anybody else has managed to get the uh, Northern Utah Web SDR working for the last week or more. Uh, won't even load up for me. Um, somebody on the early bird net last week mentioned uh, running them blind, uh, which helps my bandwidth on my satellite connection quite a bit, and, and it actually is semi-usable if I do that, but I can even get it uh, uh, come up. The Kiwi SDR that one does there in Sedona, but unfortunately, Steve doesn't really hit that one very well, it doesn't seem. Um, it really sucks because, you know, Steve is basically the only station I can't hear on the net, and, of course, he's the one station you really need to hear. So I'll pass it up to Joe and to KTO, kk 6 rpx Omnia SDR, run with a Raspberry Pi 2, bare bones. And there it is in a little external sound card. Plug in sound card right there. And 6QW here. Wave of the future. The tsunami's coming.